Tonight, the public got a chance to weigh in on an ordinance that would crack down on slumlords in the metro. The ordinance would create an online registry for rental property owners, which would make it easier to hold them accountable. WLKY's Drew Gardner was at tonight's meeting. He joins us live now at City Hall with some of the concerns from both the landlords and the tenants. Drew? Well, Vicki, both those for and against this ordinance say there needs to be more accountability for those landlords who are not providing safe and healthy housing. But there's some concern about the costs associated with the registry being passed on to tenants and a fear that some good landlords could be unfairly punished. A majority of constituent calls to these Metro Council members often deal with problem rental properties. But the biggest problem usually comes when they try to track down the property owners, with many living out of town. I'm fighting every day to find out who owns this piece of property. Just get the grass cut. This ordinance would create an online registry that would make legitimate contact information for rental property owners available for anyone to view. The current registry is only available to code enforcement. You would, I would, all of us would have to call a code enforcement officer and take them away from their job to check and see if somebody is on the registry or not. To register, property owners would have to pay an initial fee of $100 to cover the IT cost to build out the registry and hire more code enforcement officers. That cost would drop down to $50 every year after and will be waived for properties with no violations. Some landlords, though, warned those costs would likely be passed down to tenants. If, I, if I've got five units and I've got to pay $500 next year to join this, you don't think that's going to be passed on? Sponsors of the ordinance say if the fee is spread out over a whole year, that cost only amounts to about $8.33 a month, which is less than the cost of some of the issues people are currently living with. $8.33? You're going to pay more than that if the windows are leaky and you're paying your own LG&E and heat. You're going to pay more than that if the sink is dripping and you have to pay water. There will also be accelerated penalties for those who don't pay, which could ultimately lead to a lien on the property. The ordinance will also add random inspections each year on 10% of the registered properties to catch violations not reported. At the end of the day, if you're going to make money off the backs of Louisville residents, then you're going to meet a minimum standard to ensure that they are living in safe living conditions. It's that simple. Now, the sponsors behind this ordinance didn't rule out having other public hearings in different parts of the city, but so far none have been scheduled. Their plan is to take some of the concerns that they've heard and make amendments to this ordinance. Now, the ordinance has been assigned to the Public Works Committee, which meets next here at City Hall on September 13th. Reporting live at City Hall tonight, Drew Gardner, WLKY News.